And uh, we got into a very long conversation about my journey uh, throughout, um, throughout my whole life, uh, starting in a Protestant church in Lynn as a young child. Um, and by the time I was 18, getting dismayed with the church and, and going to college and trying to figure out who I was and what I wanted to be. And I, I really haven't been back in a organized building, as uh, I think you called it, the life of a faith, <laughs> whatever that building is, um, ever since I left for college. I'm here, at, I'm a friend of uh, Reverend Lin Linda Forsberg from uh, East Greenwich in Rhode Island. I'm a retired iron worker, I'm 62 years old. I raised two daughters, uh, not in a church. Basically, I'm a lapsed, I guess the term is a lapsed Catholic, but um, it's a little more aggressive than that, especially, especially lately, but I'm not here to grind that ax. <laughs> I grew up not part of any church. I was baptized in United Methodist Church and could probably count on one hand or less the amount of times I ever went to church growing up. Um, it was never a very comfortable uh, experience for me. I always felt very out of place. So I never really was a part of a church community. The church in the area was, was dying off and um, it was part of a re revitalization program. Um, so I met Mark uh, and I was going through a rough patch and uh, I just needed some place to go. So I went there and uh, I've been there ever since. And uh, they, uh, they put up with me showing up week after week, even though <laughs> um, I don't consider myself a very religious person. I know Bishop Jim uh, before he was a bishop. And he asked me <laughs> to speak or to be a part of this. And uh, he's over six feet. So <laughs> I'm here. Um, <laughs> Um, no, I've known Jim and Lisa, his wife, um, for many, many years. Uh, he is a good friend of my husband, um, and they've known each other since their early 20s. And um, we have been in lots of conversations about religion and faith and spirituality, and he asked if I would um, join this panel tonight, so I did. And I do not belong to a faith community. Uh, I left home at 17, and I've not belonged to a church since um, I left home. So let's start with, and we talked about this last week, um, but it's kind of the question that, that seems to get framed a lot, which is uh, people say, I'm spiritual but not religious. That's often a way in which people articulate who they are or how they explain who they are, particularly people that are not connected with a, a faith community. Um, when you hear that spiritual but not religious, does that describe you? Is that helpful? Uh, or do you dis disagree with that? Uh, what, is, what does that mean, spiritual but not religious? 